Hello everyone, German Fernandez here. Uh, I know you probably stumbled upon my video. Why? Well, because uh, the fact that I have not uploaded in a long ass time. It's because I lost my freaking password of my YouTube, my Gmail, everything, and it's been a pain in the butt trying to get it back. But I'm back. And ain't nobody gonna stop me now. And how I found my password, I was looking for GTA 5 for my 360, but I ended up finding my old notebook with a few little doodles on it and sketches, but I found it eventually in there. So yeah, it's a happy ending in that case, but today that's not my story I want to share. Oh, by the way, I'm sharing a story today. It's not, it's not, it's not, ah, can't talk. It's not my border story, but... I'm like crossing the border, Donald Trump is definitely gonna just like I'm just pointing out that I'm not into politics that much, so anyways. Um today oh fuck. Uh today I'm gonna be talking to you about the first time that I received my saddle. And it was recently because well, I I got a like a job at a farm. I'm not gonna say the name, but uh, yeah. I got a job at a farm. Anyways, um, I got a job at a farm uh, because well, uh, one day we came to visit um, the owner of the farm and she said that she's been having a hard time because she has had surgeries and it's just been hard on her. She can't use her arms that much. She She's not... Well, how do I say? It? Well, she's not exactly like a freaking Olympic girl, but she's still going. But anyway, she works so hard, and her and I believe her. Like I, I help her, been helping her for the past few weeks. Every little now and then, I can. And yeah, it's kind of hard. I mean, the, all the horses that need to be fed, stalls cleaned or picked, how she says it. Uh, fresh water, fresh hay, take them in and out, it's, it's actually quite a bit, it may not seem like much if you only got like, one or two horses that belong to you in your fancy little barn and all, but, she boards horses, and it's actually quite a great job slash hobby if you, whatever you, your mindset is, anyways, back to the story, um, yeah, I've been working for her, she's handicapped, so I've been helping her out around the farm, and it's been all great, but one day, uh, she said that she was gonna pick up a truck from her brother, he's a really nice man, and he, uh, well, as we were going on our way, I was like, oh my goodness, um, uh, I was like, I really need to go to the bathroom, and luckily there was an accident on the road. Well, not so lucky for the people in the accident, but yeah, uh, we stopped at a tractor supply, and I uh, used the restroom, and she came in uh, after me because of course she's not just gonna leave a 14-year-old unattended in a tractor supply. It's just, it's just like not bad parenting, but you know. Just don't leave a freaking kid running around in tractor supply. Anyways, she she got some shirts for her brother. He's, who I said, who again? He's a really nice guy. Oh, shoot. Anyways, he's a real nice guy. He's we. Uh, she yells there, and so I don't know where you are, but where we are here in North Carolina, or at least in this area, I know of. They have like um, clipboards where people can post advertisements, and yeah, you can post a little advertisement saying, "Hey, um, property tools help wanted," or something like that, and people call you or people will see that, and you know, it's like a nice way to sell them something. But I didn't really pay attention to that, and she had to go to the bathroom, so I just stood there, walked around. And looked at your shirts a bit, cause well, I like some of them. They were, some of them were funny, but yeah. So she comes back. She's like, 
hey, your mom, you have your phone? I was like, uh, yeah. And she tells me, here, take a picture of this. And there's an advertisement for a cute little horse. Uh, he said uh, he was a Tennessee walker. His name was Lightfoot. And here's where it gets a little serious. The man owning the horse had a heart condition and had gone through so many surgeries. It is actually really sad. But she sees that we go to her brother's house to pick up to pick up their truck or something. But instead of taking her truck, we took her brother's car. And we went to see the place, the address, I mean. And it, we, we met the people. They were nice. I mean, they weren't mean but, or anything. I'm not saying they look mean at all. They were really nice people. They didn't look like they were hurting anyone. But yeah, they. I'm like, <laughs> get a little emotional here. They were starting. They were all like, hey, how are you? Nice to see you. And uh, yeah, I helped uh, show the horse a little bit. I ran with it. I can't, you know, I forgot what it's called when you make the, well, try to get the horse to run in a circle with that long halter. Uh, I don't know exact this specific name, so all I know is how to take care of horses. But yeah, um, and then the man tried to offer my boss a saddle for, uh, the, 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 the advertisement said 500, but the man tried to, is after she explained that, how her, and her phone's not bad at all, like, she takes good care of it, it's been there for a while, and it's, it's kind, I kind of declare it a historical site, because it's been there for a long time, you know, it's like, one of the first few farms over here in North Carolina, but anyways, back to the story, the man, uh, well, from what my boss told me, she, Went around the shed, and done, I don't want any of the fucking shit in the comment section saying, Oh, she went around the shed with him. You fucking cunt. No, she wanted to talk about him, and she said that she would not buy the horse for 400 because she, she said it was stealing, and it kind of was, because it's a beautiful young horse. It was only nine years old. And the man had spent so much time trying to train it, but he can't spend more time with it since his he's had to go through so many surgeries. And she told me that the man started to cry. And I know this is probably saying, uh, first time receiving a sandal. The sandal saddle. This is, this is where it's going to. So, uh, the next day we agree, I agree with her. And I told her maybe you could pick it up the next, pick the little light foot the next day. And maybe, you know, like, just take him back to the barn or to the farm. So, yeah, she said it was okay. So, we get a little lost for a bit, but then we find the place. Because I forgot about Google Maps. But, anyways, we keep going. We find, we get back to the place, we find them. I was helping him, helping him, I was helping him load Lightfoot onto the, onto the trailer, yeah, I don't know if you might know about this, but I had a feeling, like, I could feel that the man was in pain, he did not want to just he wasn't ready to say goodbye to his horse, but he knew he couldn't take care of it, which really made me sad. And then he's like, he asked me, "Do you want to take this into the trailer?" And he was talking about the saddle. And I was like, uh, "I don't know. I'd have to ask my boss first. And she, she was busy talking with the man's wife, so I said, "I guess so." But then I asked, then he asked me if I wanted to give, uh, take the, the rack, uh, saddle rack. It's like a little wagon, but he said he made it himself. I asked him, don't you want to keep it so you can remember or for memory? He said, I got something for memory right here. 
And then he showed me a beautiful saddle. He told me he showed it in Ohio. I can't remember I can't remember how many times he said. But I was like, wow, so beautiful. And then he just walked towards me and said, you know what? You can have it. <laughs> I was shocked. <sighs> when he gave it to me, I just held it. I didn't have an expression on my face. <sighs> That day, he gave me that saddle. I couldn't help. Like after that, I, I just, I was just so emotionally confused because I had just received my first saddle ever, and the man he said, you know, you don't have to pay me anything for it. And I, I didn't know what to say. I just had a, a blank look on my face. And he he helped me load it up on the trailer, and then when my boss came in and he told her what he gave me, she said, "Oh, George," and started crying. And on the whole way back, I just couldn't help but cry. I was just crying, crying like a little baby. I know there's gonna be that one guy and the fucking comment section saying oh you're a fucking pussy you cried well not really at least I have a heart that gives me emotions but he just gave it to me and I just felt so emotional at the moment cuz I didn't know what to say but yeah that was the story of the time I got my first saddle. Mr. George, did you see this? I will never forget this. Thanks to you, I will I'll, I'll be able to learn how to ride a horse. Because, well, I don't, I don't ride horses. I just used, I'm just used to working with them and caring for them. Thank you very much, Mr. George. If you made it to the end of this video, everyone, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. <coughs> if you if you feel like this was actually something that touched your heart, please comment. God bless you in the comment. Not me, but Mr. George. Comment, God bless Mr. George in the comment section. Thank you for watching. This is Gemma Fernandez signing out.